You probably think it takes three hours to get ready every day, don't you? I get a lot of compliments on how I dress. Damn right, because I'm adorable. But here's the thing, I'm actually a lazy, disgusting, roll-in-the-dirt tomboy. So how is it that I routinely trick strangers into thinking that I'm well put together? Dresses, motherfucker. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to present the case for dresses. For tomboys. Or really anyone who'd like to ease their wardrobe a bit. First, dresses are so damn comfortable. Listen, I know a lot of y'all are jeans folk, but jeans rarely fit me perfectly. The same pair of jeans can be too tight one day, and then too loose another day, and then you gotta find a shirt to flatter whatever the hell jean day it happens to be. And sure, if they're too loose, belts help, but then you sit down for more than 10 minutes and this shit happens. No thank you. Point two, ease of decision making. My wardrobe is basically 15 or so dresses, pajamas, and workout clothes. I don't have any of this, oh, these jeans are too tight today, is this shirt clean, this blue doesn't match this blue kind of shit. This is my whole morning. Which dress do I want to wear? This one. Fucking done! Number three, dresses accommodate weight fluctuation so well. I can shift 20 pounds, and have, and nearly all of my dresses not only still fit, but look fucking baller on a hot ass butt. My final and most disgusting point is that you can rewear dresses a couple of times. Unless you're super sweaty or you spill shit on yourself, you can go like three or four wears without washing that dress. I haven't gotten any complaints about my smell, so I'm assuming that it works. I'll grant you, it took a little while for me to determine the right styles and cuts for my body type and then build up my collection, and unless you're fabulously wealthy, it's not gonna happen for you overnight. So, to accelerate this process for you, I give you the gift of my checklist for buying dresses. Exciting. Is this dress too tight or too loose in these areas? Are you comfortable with the length of the dress and the amount of cleave? Does the style mesh with you? Do you dig the color and the pattern? Do you dig it? The fabric, is it quality? Does it feel all kinds of good on your skin? Is it acceptable for bending over and or squatting situations? It's very important. Are you cool with the washing instructions? Do you love the way you look in it? Do you love the way you feel in it? If you've said yes to everything on this list and the price doesn't kill you, baby, you found yourself a dress. When I buy a dress, it fits every one of these categories so that when I leave the house, I know I look fucking great, and then I feel fucking great, and then when I walk down the street, I'm just oozing confidence from every orifice, and that gets me complimented from strangers every day. All right, what are your objections? I know you have them. But Malia, what about the chafing? My God, the chafing, Malia! Oh, babies, this kept me from the glory of dresses as well, but chafe no more. Get yourself some Chub Rub, links in the description, that is not the actual name of the product, and put it in that one area that you know you chafe in, and boom! No more! None of that! Also, deodorant I found works pretty much just as well, so you had that option. But Malia, what if I like to sit like this? I can't wear short dresses, right? Wrong! Get yourself some shorts, my babies! You can go fancy with something a little spanksy, a little lacy, something like this, or if you want to be more standard, get yourself some volleyball shorts. Just some standard volleyball shorts. Wear them under there, man spread all you want. Just not on public transportation, because that's a dick move. Sometimes I'll even wear jean shorts under a dress just for the extra pockets. Choose your own adventure. But the wind, Malia, I can't have complete strangers looking at my undergarments. Certain styles of dress do prevent this from happening, but if you're like me and you like your dress with a little spinny spinny fun, Answer's the same. Shorts, motherfucker. Shorts. Or just be okay with strangers seeing your underpants. Can you even see the spinning in this? Hey look, it's an end screen. <laughs> there's my second channel, there's some other videos I've done. Wow, I'm dizzy. Uh, social media bullshit's in the downstairs. Snapchat's something I'm doing, so follow me there if you feel like it. Another thing I'm doing is Patreon, so if you uh, are having trouble deciding whether or not to burn your money or give it to a YouTuber, I have that available to you as an option now, so <laughs> links are in the description for that. I'm gonna go stare at my dresses, because I have so many. <laughs> Alright, bye.